my first day with cycling in Tonga. I'm going to cycle around this main island. Everything is so peaceful so far. Don't bark at me. Thank you. Now I'm entering the city center. This is the capital. What really interesting is that once I get out of the city in Fiji and Vanuatu, the houses become simple. But here, many houses are quite modern. Tonga is not a popular tourist attraction compared to Fiji and Vanuatu, which is closer to New Zealand and Australia. So I don't know what makes actually Tonga become more have money. <laughs> Maybe because people work outside of their country and send money back home. It's getting dark. Then I have to find a place to sleep. I'm going to ask her like, can I set up my tent at your garden for a night? And let's see what will happen in Tonga. Oh, the I travel the world. I set up my tent so many times in people's garden. And still, I get nervous to ask. <laughs> still, I'm shy to ask. You ask to stranger as a stranger. <laughs> Suddenly, like, can I pitch my tent? That's weird, isn't it? Hey, I should ask now. I should stop cycling. This is always happen again and again and again every time. Because it's not easy to ask. <laughs> and there's mosquito. Let's ask, let's ask. Come on, let's ask. I should spray the mosquito repellent. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey. Wait. Wait. Good morning. It's a very fresh morning. I'm a bit sleepy because I couldn't sleep well. I'm cycling to the end of the street to see the... What's there? <laughs> ah, there's a sea! So I heard that um, this side was okay during volcano eruption. That side, like hotel washed out. <laughs> yeah, I can buy some breakfast there. What is that? Chicken. How much is that for one? Okay. One dollar. Can I have a seven please? Hello. Yeah. My breakfast. Lots of barbecue in Tonga. <laughs> My main meal. Even breaky. Okay, let's cycle to the beach to have my breakfast barbecue. <laughs> I think I will gain some weight. I was losing weight in Vanuatu and now definitely I gained some weight. It's, it's tragic actually all the resort gone. This is supposed to be a resort. So I think opposite side of the road, it was more protected. And this was like direct effect. Every house has several dogs and actually they look very well fed but they keep coming out to me barking. There are a few resorts so uh, collapsed by tsunami. Hey. This is sad to see. All the resorts gone. Let's take another resort. This one. This place gone as well. Hey. 
You have a nice bicycle. Malalele. Where is your home? There. Ah, yeah? This is nice. Can I have a water, please? I found some different thing in Tonga. In the capital, every supermarket looks like run by Chinese. And even in this small village, the supermarket they are run by Chinese. But I think they speak Tonga, so I'm not sure they are like Tonga Chinese or they immigrate here. I'm going to cycle on the other side of the island. Looks like it's some pavement road. <laughs> It's a tsunami rock. I don't know, but I'll check. It's the biggest tsunami rock in the world. Like thousands of years ago, this rock pushed by tsunami. The end of the road is just nice. <laughs> oh, look at this baby pig. That house is amazing. Wow, big garden. It looks like actually no one living. I took the wrong road, so I was a bit cycling on the main road. Now I'm back to a bit quiet road. I saw that there's some scenic place that I'm going to town. Oh wow. Look at this. There's other side that I'm going to check. Don't know what's here. Look at this, there's a big art. This is amazing. That clip was like, whoa. And this is like, wow. Just right next to the art. This is another beautiful place. Morning, it's raining. Uh, I slept actually yesterday inside the house. The local people invite me. Today is a Sunday. In Tonga, uh, on Sunday, everything is closed. Even they don't go tour around or anything, they just stay at home and just go in church. So the road will be empty, but actually, this side of the road is pretty much empty in, even in, in weekday, I guess. There's some uh, resort. Uh, maybe I'll have some brunch there I mean this is very early morning like 7 8 I'm not sure they're open but that will be the only place opening this side here's the resort hello they don't open restaurant and I don't think there's no any restaurant opening all this uh, around the eastern side this is whole thing I can eat today and I have some wee pigs left there's a cave in the middle of the resort so I'm going to check this is a beautiful ah oh, so peaceful because <laughs> no, no cars only people walking oi 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 One challenging in Tonga is every dogs are chasing me because every dogs belong to some house and they are very, you know, protective. <laughs> there are few church in this small village. And this is another church. The road becomes very well. This road will be very quiet. Sometimes when there's no any car passing, then suddenly there's one car going slowly. <laughs> Made me a little bit scared, but anyway, nothing ever happened. Suddenly it's raining. I'm wearing the rain jacket and pants again. I think rain stuff. <laughs> Should I take off the rain jacket? Yes. Uh, because it's hot. The road become very narrow, like this. This is the main road on the south, and it's very narrow. It's like bicycle path. I was just checking the map, and it's correct. So I'm going to just keep going. Congratulations 
Only one side. Ah! I should have cycled faster! Why did I slower? It's okay. It's okay. It is dry at the end. <laughs> Sorry, my dear Kona. Oh, I'll change my socks. <laughs> Here I'm entering the village. There are two dogs watching me. Don't chase me, okay? No. 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 Hamonga. Yeah, Hamonga is a very important place, I heard. So I will show you why it's important. This is the place, three big limestone built in 13th century. But you know what? They closed. <laughs> Everything is closed down on Sunday, even tourist attractions. No one working on Sunday except uh, a few restaurants in the town and the resort. Even when tour, they don't work on Sunday. It's funny that there are tourists from the big bus and they can't enter. But I can still see from the this front fence and it's really big. Actually, yesterday, uh, there was a kind of funny story. It was already dark and I still couldn't find a place to sleep. And I saw some car entering the house. Hello, hello, and car stop. And I asked, oh, can I set up a tent? But the lady said, uh, it's not my house. Okay, sorry, and I went to another house. And she asked a few things and actually she invited me. So I went inside. Her husband was like a big guy and, and then he said, oh, we don't know who you are. So we actually called the police. But I understand it. Just uh, want to make sure. So she said, I let police that you are here. And yeah, they are very kind. They invite me dinner. The man actually went out. I slept actually in their living room. The lady and her daughter slept in the room. And actually middle of the night, I woke up by something, someone coming inside the house. And I checked the time, it was actually 2 a.m. And I was thinking like, oh, this big man actually just came home. Oh, what if he get drunk? I started to just worry of it. Like, I just got a bit nervous. And I was thinking that, oh, wait, he already let the police know I'm here. So nothing will happen. <laughs> And that makes me a bit <laughs> relaxed and I fall asleep again. I found the Intuma. There are many peaks. <laughs> this is a beautiful area. Let's uh, see. I love the Sunday of the South Pacific. The Sunday is very quiet because people go to church, every shop closed. Especially in Tonga, I think they really like Sunday is really like nothing day except the uh, praying and with the family. Isn't it so good that everything is quiet? Just once a week, let's be quiet. <laughs> How is nice. Some houses are empty, I can feel that. Like in the night, there's no light. It's because I think some people living in Australia and New Zealand, they, may, they make money and they come here and build a house and they go back. And I'm not sure they come back after retired or I don't know what kind of house are there. Like why it's so empty and why it's so nice. <laughs> oi, oi. No, 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 no. So many dogs here <laughs> barking at me and chasing me. One. I got scared. I mean, usually when I stop, they should just stop. But anyway, the local people help me. <laughs> ah, that was a scary one, though. Malo, thank you for helping. Ah, it's back to main road. Although it's a Sunday, still cars are keep passing. I just got two mangoes from local people. <laughs> they sent me and they like mango, and they gave me. Suddenly lots of raining and I'm so lucky to be under the, the roof. And even the gas station is closed on Sunday in Tonga. That was a scary shower.
Thank you.